Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So that was a brief introduction to curves. Now we will introduce a very important concept of angle because as I had discussed before that whenever we talk about orientation of one surface to another, there comes into picture the concept of angle. When you open the door, what happens? The orientation of the door with the fixed frame changes and this orientation is decided by measuring the angle. So what exactly is angle? So let us now try to understand what exactly is angle. Now by now you would have got a fair idea that angle is about orientation of two surfaces. Whenever the orientation changes, the angle also changes. Try to open your lunch box. I am sure that you pretty much do it every day, right? Now when you open your lunch box, what happens? Try to observe it very closely. See in the first case, the lunch box is closed. In the second case, you are in the process of opening the lunch box and in the third case, it is like in the open state. Now, what difference do you observe in one, two and three? Now, in the first case, if you see the lead is placed along the surface of the base of the lunch box. So this is the lead right, or the cover. Now, when you start opening, you see this angle gradually increases. Why? Because the orientation of the lead with the base of the box changes. Now when you have opened it totally, what happened? The angle has gradually increased all the more, right? So as you keep opening the lead of the lunch box, the orientation of the lead, the orientation between the lead and the base of the box, it keeps changing and therefore the angle keeps changing. So if you actually try to define angle, you can say that it is a measure of orientation between two rays with a common end point. Now this is very important. Now, orientation has to be there, but orientation will exist between two rays only when there is a common end point. Here you see, this is a common end point. That is why you have this orientation. So you have this common end point here. Now in case the lead was not connected to the base of the box, in that case, it would have not matched now you also have that kind of lunch box right where the lead is not joined here so you just open it and you know the lead is kept separately so in that case you really do not see this angle change like this that's because there is no common end point in that case so here this particular scenario when we draw it in terms of angles with rays now in forget about the lunch box now so in the first scenario what happened the angle between the lead of the box and the base of the box was zero so the, when the box was closed so basically both the rays were overlapping with each other in the second case this is the base of the box and this is the lead of the box and there was a certain angle between the two in the third scenario, when you have opened it almost completely, the angle had further increased. And this is how we represent angles. So angles are nothing but orientation between two rays. Now here we had taken the example of the lunchbox just to give you a practical idea where we encounter angles. But theoretically, when we talk about angles, it is basically the orientation between two rays. And by now you know what are two ra what are rays. So rays, they have one fixed point. So this is the fixed end and this is the other end which keeps on extending indefinitely. Angle is always measured in degrees. For example, here in this case, we say that the measure of the angle is zero degree. That is the angle between the uh, two rays is zero degree. In this case, let us say that we say that the angle between the two rays is 60 degree. In this case, let us suppose we say that the angle between the two rays is 120 degrees. So basically, we measure angles in degrees. Now, how do we measure angles and all that you will learn later in gradually in your uh, upcoming lessons. So here you just get an idea about what an angle is. So from where do we start thinking about angles? So this angle can be anything. It could be 15 degree, it could be 20 degree, it could be 90, 180, 360, it could be any degree. Now let us look at some examples of angle. Opening of the door, opening of your lunch box. When you are reading a book, do you think that angle is involved anywhere? 
Have you observed that when you look down or when you look up to see a particular thing, like in this case, this boy is looking downwards because he wants to read whatever is written on the book and the book is present downward. So he is looking down. So basically he is looking at some angle so that he is able to see what he is trying to see. Similarly, when a person is trying to look up, that person is also looking at certain angle so that he is able to see what he wants to see. So basically when you look up, when you look down, you look at a certain angle. Now these, these are more common examples where you can very evidently see the presence of angles. So there are angles everywhere around us. It is just that we uh, consciously do not pay attention to their presence. Now the question is what makes an angle? What are the important parts of an angle? Now any angle will consist of two rays and those two rays need to have a common point because if there is no common point there will be no orientation. Since you have this common point that is based on this common point you know the position of these rays keep changing and that's how the angle keeps changing. So the first important part of an angle are the sides or the arms of the angle. The sides are nothing but these rays between which the angle is formed. So these are called the sides or arms of an angle. And the common point between the two rays is called vertex. So basically this is the common point. So this is called vertex and these are called the sides or arms of the angle. So in this case, let us suppose that if this point is A and let us call this as B, let us call this as C. So we can say that AB and AC are the sides of the angle and vertex is point A. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.